Well, hey there, guys. Welcome to a new Ed's Retro Geek Out. It's been ages since I've done a pickup video and time for a channel update. So, let's get started. This video, I got a ton of stuff. I bought a ton of stuff that got sent in, and I got a huge box from Mattel. So I can't wait to show you all that stuff. And I'll put some timestamps down below so you guys can just skip to the part, whichever you want to see, honestly. But first, channel update. So as you can probably tell, there's less videos coming out. I'm doing one a week right now. That's just because life is, is, is getting in the way just a little bit. Uh, we're doing renovations. I got loads of stuff for work that I need to do. But I'm trying to gear up and start pumping out Toy Histories once again. That's why I went into the one video a week modus. New Toy Histories, uh, they're going to come out pretty soon. I really want to get one out this month. And uh, yeah, uh, I got to thank the guys on the Patreon for helping me out. Uh, they allowed me to get a teleprompter. So hopefully some of that editing process will speed up right now. We can pump out some more. Um, but uh, yeah, thanks guys for just sticking around <laughs> I know it's just been toy hunts I still got some toy histories left in me so I'll, I'll start pumping those out before we leave to the US once again oh and next week we're having a get-together in good old Belgium yeah Empire Toys and Andy's Toys and Models from the UK are coming over to Belgium me Maddie and Renzo are joining them and going to this big flea market and we're gonna film it and that will probably be a video or two for you guys as well so yeah gonna have to do that and do a toy history and maybe a behind the collector there's still a couple videos coming out from my trip over to the US last April yeah that's stuff from April that you're seeing right now popping up um, so I still have a couple of those videos left and in October I'll be heading back over there. Yeah, I'll be heading out to Retropalooza and meeting up with Narc and Greco once again. Hopefully we'll see some other YouTubers over there. Obviously, I couldn't be over at PowerCon this weekend and uh, I missed out on San Diego Comic-Con. So that's all really cool stuff that went on. But Mattel was kind enough to send over a huge box of some of their San Diego Comic-Con exclusive things. So let's take a look at that right now. And here is some of the things that Mattel sent over. Oh my God. Now, obviously not everything is really targeted to my age group, but I see some things like, you know, the Mandalorian, this back in action thing looks cool. And Masters of the Universe, ooh. I like that. I like that. So uh, I'm going to take a closer look to the things that really appeal to me and, and I guess to you guys as well because, well, uh, I guess if you're watching the channel, you're going to like what I like. But yeah, we got this Pixar thing over here. Um, Pixar Spotlight. I haven't heard about this line yet. Uh, some of this is Mattel. Some of this is Mattel Creations. So I guess like the coolest thing, at least to me, is this back in action thing. So we got a big gym in here, a pulse and Major Matt Mason. So some of the old guards, some of the old things that made Mattel the powerhouse that they are, apart from like Hot Wheels, because that sold like hotcakes as well. Hot Wheels, yes, Hot Wheels. Um, what we have over here is these, um, you know, vintage uh, 70s awesome toy lines popped into something a little more modern but but, but not really <laughs> so over here as you can see you got all three of them these are on a blister card inside here actually um but they're in the style of the secret wars um marvel toys so actually I do have some here so as you can see they're kind of like the same size because these used to be like you know as as, as big as like an action man or, or gi joe like the original one um all of these so here we got major matt mason in his iconic suit then we have pulsar the guy that had like the insides that could move around and big jim one of his outfits once again so yeah not too much info on the packaging here gonna be fun having them walking around in a secret wars display so that will be definitely be cool um 
I think this is probably the coolest thing out of the bunch, at least for me. Cool looking swords. Uh, this is probably Masters of the Universe. Yes, for the 40th anniversary. Mega Bloks inspired. Ooh, does this thing open up? Yes, it does. Here we go. By the power of Grayskull. I, I guess this is some sort of a Grayskull in there. Yeah, these are uh, the blocks on the inside. Lots of blocks. I'm not going to put this thing together. This is going to take too long. But um, yeah, over here we got the bookie. Oh, check that out. So we have a He-Man and a Castle Grey Skull that we can put together with this product right here. Honestly, I never played Minecraft. This is Steve. <laughs> Looking pretty funny, actually. That might just be fun to to mess around with. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, already showed the Pixar thing. Uh, already we just got loads of um, Hot Wheels. Yeah. Ooh, smooth. That's nice, that's nice. As you can see over here, here we have the Kit the Knight Rider car. Special edition. Pretty epic, pretty, I really like the packaging on this actually. So, there are Hot Wheels take on it. But the Hot Wheels fun doesn't end there. We got a Mario Kart pink gold peach. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, uh, honestly, I, I don't really collect Hot Wheels. So I don't know what I'm supposed to point out on, on these type of toys, honestly. Oh. Whoa, this is cool. So it's like he's driving out of the comic book, the most supernatural hero of all time. Uh, the first appearance of Ghost Rider. So yeah, and it comes in this really cool box. So this is like not a Hot Wheels car, but a Hot Wheels bike. Yeah, lots of detail on, on this dude as well. And I actually like skulls, so yeah, might, might have to pop this one in a display somewhere over there. Yeah, got a Mandalorian Razor Crest. This thing is cool. Check it out. It comes in this. So we got this thing over here, and we get to open it up like this. Whoa, check it out. And then over here we have this heavy. This is heavy. This is made out of genuine Buscar. <laughs> Just like in a TV show. This is uh, the Razor Crest made out of Baskar. Thanks so much, Mattel, for, for sending all this this plethora of, 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 of new product my way. It felt like I was at least a little bit there touching the new product over at San Diego Comic Con. Too bad I couldn't go, but uh, maybe next year. And not only the box by Mattel came out of the blue, but also this one right here. This one is from Ken and Ronald, who are friends of mine. We, we've known each other for like 10 years, but they do a shop right now called Retro Game Collector. And ah, this is just freaking amazing. I guess like whenever they find cool turtle stuff, they're just gonna post it. So this is like a little duffel bag with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on it. And on the inside, what do we have here? Oh my. Ooh, we got an original Raphael. Ooh, love it. This is the only one I didn't have as a kid. Like the original Raph. I don't know, maybe he was harder to find. A Leo. I managed to score one of these later, but the first two I had as a kid were um, Donatello and Michelangelo. And then we have one of the wacky action shredders. Yeah, I always loved this sculpt. This one looked so much like the cartoon. Um, I, I, I liked it. I, I know not a lot of people are into the wacky action stuff. Um, so yeah, this was all thrown in here, as well as this Japanese Famicom, ver Famicom version of, uh, I, I, I guess, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game. So yeah, and that came from RetroGameCollector.com. So if, if you, you need to get any Finnish games, Go and check them out. I guess like before the summer start, we had this big um, convention. There's a video out from me and Maddie over there and they bought a bunch of stuff off of me. So that was kind of like an extra thank you to me, which is insane because they hook me up with great deals all the time. So 
Thanks once again, Ken and Ronald. And I think we should probably keep this turtle train rolling because the foot toys sent over there our toy Ronin. So yeah, this one is the Ronin loaded with weapons. As you can see, amazing. So the foot toys, they do amazingly cool uh, customs. Um, retro inspired, kind of like what the Playmate stuff uh, is that came out. And uh, yeah, you get you get to buy it. It's, it's freaking amazing. You get the cards, everything. You get extra stuff like this, this art. Print. This is freaking cool as well. The last Ronin is one of like the later releases. It came out, I, I guess, like maybe a couple of years ago. Done by Kevin Eastman. It's kind of like a continuation on the story. Only Raph is is left within the Turtle universe, and he, um, you know, read the book. I, I'm not gonna tell you the whole story, but um, this custom, I knew I just had to get. How cool this dude is over here, man. You get so much weapons in here. So you got some of the size, you got like the nunchucks, everything. They they really didn't uh, hold back on any of that. So uh, this is um, the extra head that you could pick out. Uh, I'm not sure if the last Ronin one is still on their website to be purchased or anything, but they, they, they always have some stuff left. So. Um, I got it with an extra head, so this thing comes off. It's a, a raisin cast, I think, and uh, yeah, it just works with magnets, honestly. So let's pop this dude on over here. Check that out. That's the second head, and that just looks amazing. Um, whenever I get these in, I always post them on my socials, so follow me on Instagram and on Facebook and everything, and well, you'll get to see all this stuff way quicker and hopefully you get to get one for yourself so go check out the foot toys on uh, Instagram is where I follow them and they just do amazing work so yeah I don't want I already got their Jaguar and uh, it's freaking amazing so I love it I'm lost for words I don't know man this is just freaking cool gotta keep the turtle train going with this Varner Studios sketchbook so Farner Studios is one of the two studios that sculpted the original Playmates Turtles toy line together with Anaglyph Studios, Scott Hennessy, and all of uh, the guys that uh, worked for him at the Anaglyph Studios. Over here we got Farner Studios, and um, this is basically like a compilation of all those sketches, and it's signed by Steven Varner and I think Michelle as well. So. In here is just like all those sketches, stuff that got used, stuff that didn't get used. So over here you got some of the um, rock and roll turtles. I'm just gonna skip through this uh, a little bit. I think this is Murdude, or Murdude partially, yeah. What else do we have here? Ooh, some Toonie turtles. So yeah, all, all the way up to like the newer stuff. Uh, Oh, whoa. the Warriors of the Forgotten Sewer stuff in here. It's amazing. So definitely like uh, a cool coffee table book if you want to flip through the history and uh, just, you know, where the toys came from. Like these are the sketches they used to sculpt this stuff with. So it's amazing. It's pretty, it's a pretty darn big book, man. So, I mean, you're definitely getting a bang for your buck. Um, Sticking with all of that um, turtle history, I um, also picked up L. Dibs' um, reimagination of the pitch turtle. This is just a raisin cast. It's not painted or anything. And uh, this should look really close to what it is that Varner actually presented to Kevin Eastman and Pierre Laird when they pitched playmates to do the toy line so uh, they had one of these in each color of the turtles I think he had a tail back in the day there but they had to get rid of that and uh, yeah this is this is what it started with now this is obviously just a replica but it's cool I, I think I'm gonna get my buddy Javaho creations to uh, paint it like some of the pictures that that came out at the time and uh, I know I'm never gonna own the actual thing, so this is probably as close as I'll, as I'll get. So yeah, thanks L Dips for uh, hooking me up with this awesome piece. Oh Roy, oh Roy, what else do we got here? And we got some Bucky O'Hare coming up. Now this came from Joseph. 
and dude like at first he was like you know uh, I went over to this shop and I found some some things you might be interested in uh, I'm actually just gonna buy some and send them over I'm like well okay thank you so much for doing that you know like he's like I, I like the videos I want to send you a gift I did not expect him to send me all this so thanks in advance Joseph <laughs> this is insane he sent over a couple of carded Bucky O'Hare figures look at this freaking amazing this is freaking cool so over here we have the toad Borg. just epic uh, in pretty good condition as well um, but it didn't end there he was like you know which ones do you need well I only have Bucky O'Hare and I got um that I duck so when this package came in I was like wait a minute how many did he buy for me <laughs> over here we got Al Negator I love the way this figure looks I love the colors on this one and uh, I do have him loose but not on card and for here we got Blinky oh yeah he's like um I guess a little less popular but I actually like this <laughs> this character so much he reminds me of Fugitoid just a little bit out of the Turtles line um, so that's one two three doesn't end there we got some more toads <laughs> we got the storm toad trooper right here uh, this one is lovely it's a great army builder as well and we got the toad air marshal yeah supposedly there's like a ton of these out um, like they like the production run on these were like so much that like kids could only find this figure and they were trying to find Bucky but he, he had a lower production run but this one was like everywhere apparently um, so yeah dude I, I can't believe how much you sent me this is freaking insane seriously <laughs> and lastly yeah I mean one two he sent me six freaking action figures that's insane man that's just too too cool too cool then over here we have the bruiser the berserker baboon oh yeah good for one bucky point all these I got six bucky points and the action figures on card in the blister looking nice Joseph you're amazing thank you so much oh my god this means I'm actually just missing Willy and Commander Dogstar missing two figures to make the line complete because I already have the two vehicles on card uh, in box actually now right when you thought like well this couldn't get any cooler you even send over some things I, I, I probably would never find in Belgium this is like a mini tiny Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle arcade which you can put on a, on a keychain so you can hang it with your keys and stuff and mini turtles I, I, I don't get it like when I went over to the US it was like we went over to Walmart just insane like the amount of stuff you you guys get to, to pick out at like regular stores I don't think like we have anything like that over here honestly um, so Joseph thank you so much sir for uh, sending this over and sorry it took so long to make this video I also got a secret package sent to me I, I, I honestly don't remember anything about this but Joshua HFX he sent this in he's on Instagram as well and uh, well, as you can see um, warning this could cause nostalgia so yeah here's what's in the box oh man oh yeah we got a note the note says, Ed, I was super stoked when I came across your channel a while back. It really brought a lot of entertainment my way. I know how much you love turtles, so I hope this makes it to you safely. And it did. Ooh. Ooze. New ooze canister. That's amazing. <laughs> Mutagen. Oh, man. Uh, so, I guess he does, like, some, some design work and, and, like, sketches and stuff. So, this is, like, the sketchbook some cool artwork in there obviously retro inspired it's amazing Ooh, we got loads of stickers in here oh man love this wow this is a big pack Ooh, we even got some so, some Pokemon cards 
stickers. Ooh, some, some candy. All these amazing stickers, man. Whoa, Super Shredder at Joshua HFX. Go and check it out. So Josh, thank you so much for sending this my way. These are definitely gonna end up on some of my gear uh, when I go out gigging. This stuff looks amazing. Love what you're doing. Go check out his Instagram. Now lastly but not least, I put out a video on the Chicago Toy Fair and over there I picked up some Army Ants, Vetus Toys from Instagram. He reached out and he said, I got something for you. He initially uh, made a deal for all these Army Ants but as you can see they don't look like army ants these are the European variants also known as ninja combatini in uh, the Italian part of the world and I think termitos or, or termites or ter termites uh, in, in, in Spanish or like in Spain is what they came out as the USA ones they had blue and orange colors and over here you can see more of these fluorescent types of, of pink green uh, pearly white uh, and uh, just plain black honestly um, what most of these are usually missing is the end part of, of their ant <laughs> Uh, part and these come with like grenades and, and all sorts of special guns and I mean this dude's got a bazooka <laughs> So uh, when he saw me pick up uh, The army ants over at the video and the Chicago toy fair he was like hey, dude uh, I think you might like this stuff and uh, even true in one of these little manual thingies of all the ones that you can collect for so that's pretty epic. Then he also threw in some free stuff. So thank you so much. Obvious toys, you didn't have to do that. I'm thinking I could be wrong about these two. Uh, I'm thinking this is Captain Power or one of one of the guys from Captain Power. This I have no clue anymore. I used to have one uh, with a blue color scheme, but uh, I'm, I'm not familiar with this line at all. And I think these dudes are based on the Galoob Unifighters. They would come in, in some sort of a big jet fighter that could uh, transform into three different uh, transformer pieces and you could pop these dudes in there. So that's amazing. And then we have a little turtle thing thrown in. This is epic. I don't know if this is like an eraser or something, but uh, it says 1993 Mirage Studios a uh, Raphael with a pizza slice and these things are freaking amazing these are the cosmic aliens and this is cynic uh, looking awful a lot awfully a lot like Sonic perhaps and the traffic alien yeah a xenomorph with a uh, <laughs> with a traffic uh, sign stop children these are freaking funny um, so they come with these cards over here and uh, with a checklist on which other ones you can um, collect for. They even have a spaceship. That looks amazing, man. Looks amazing. So, yeah, gotta catch them all. So, Fetus Toys, thank you so much for sending this over. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, we will be pumping out a new video real soon. We will be um, just, you know, working our way back up to two videos a week and uh yeah if you got any ideas for toy history topics leave them down in the comments below definitely thank you so much for watching be sure to leave a like leave a comment and uh subscribe to the channel if you haven't already um uh you can also buy t-shirts or support me on patreon and uh that's gonna be it thank you so much for watching this freaking long video and uh i will see you in the next one Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Bye for now. I'm leaving.